Hi, I'm Jeremy from the Wix Design Studio. In this tutorial, I'll show you how a design expert uses the Wix editor to create an entire gallery-based website with strips, animation, and scroll effects. So, let's dive in. First, I'll open the Wix editor and start with a blank page. I always start by saving and naming my site so it'll autosave in the future. In the editor, I added grid lines. I use these to align the elements in my design. You can use the editor's rulers to set your own custom grid lines. From the top bar, click Tools and select the guides you want to use. Next, I'll change page background to yellow. Since my site is only one page, I'll remove the default header and footer layouts. So I'll go to Page, click Manage Pages, Settings, and under the Layouts tab, select No Header and Footer. Now, I'll add my header text. Click Add Text, click Edit Text to customize and center the text. From the toolbar, I'll click Align to Center to center the text on the page. I'll add more text for the title of my site. I want to accent this title with a graphic element and add a catchy tagline. I'll go to Add, Box, and drag and drop a black box. From the toolbar, I'll resize it, changing the dimensions to 430 pixels wide by 10 pixels high. Then, I'll add and customize my subheader. To add my first gallery, I'll go to Add, Gallery, and choose a grid layout. Now, I'll add my own photos. Click Manage Media, Select All, and Delete. Next, click Add Media, then Image. I've already created a folder for my uploaded images. Once my images upload, I'll select them all and click Add to Page. Here I can organize my images any way I want. I'll drag and drop to reorder my pics so my images tell a story. To customize the gallery, click Settings. For the layout, I'll keep the grid. Under Image Display, select Horizontal. For the thumbnails, I'll select Fit, so my images resize to fit the layout. Then, I'll adjust the spacing between the images to 58 pixels. Next, click Stretch and Stretch to Full Width with margins at 80 pixels. For this gallery, I want to give it a white background, so I'll add a strip. Go to Add, Strip, choose a classic strip, and drag it into place. From the toolbar, click Arrange and select Send to Back. Then click Stretch, Screen, and set the margins to 80 pixels. I'll resize the strip's height to 1500 pixels and position it. Then, I'll drag my gallery over the strip, resize it, and reposition it. To customize my on-hover overlay for images, I'll return to my gallery settings and click Design. Go to Background and Icons, Color Overlay, and choose White so it matches the strip background. I'll use the slider to set the opacity of my overlay to 80%. For icon color, I'll go with black. In preview mode, you can see my white overlay when hovering over images in the gallery. Back in the editor, I'll add animation to my title. Click Animation and select the Glide In effect. Preview to see how it looks. Awesome! I love the way my title slides into view. I'll go back to the editor to add a social bar. Go to Add, Social, and Set Social Link. I'll customize my bar. Click Layout and set the icon size to 33 pixels and spacing to 15 pixels. Let's preview once more. Now we're rolling. In this fold, I'll add another gallery. This one will include a video on autoplay. I'll add some text for this section. Then from the toolbar, click Align and Align to Center. Like before, I'll add another box as a graphic element in my design. Then I'll add another grid gallery and switch up the layout. Click Settings, Layout, and Slider. I'll use the default settings for the rest. Select the gallery and click Stretch to Full Width. I'll change the height of my gallery to 646 pixels. Again, click Stretch and adjust the margins to 80 pixels. The real beauty of the Wix Pro Gallery is that it allows me to showcase stills and videos. I'll delete the default images and choose two from My Images. Next, click Add Media, Video, and Upload Video. I'll search the Free From Wix collection for Skateboard. Then, I'll reorder the media in my gallery so the video is first. Next, click Settings, Design, and Customize Expand Mode. This is where I can set which info will display on Expand. From Advanced Settings, go to Video Settings. Under Play Videos, select Auto Play. Preview to see what you've done so far. I like that my attention instantly goes to the video. 
Back in the editor for the next section, I'll add another classic strip. Click Stretched and set the margins to 80 pixels. To customize, I'll change strip background, image, and choose a photo from my images. I'll upload another image, a bold signature as a PNG file, and attach it to my strip. I'll resize the image so it overlaps with my gallery above. Then I'll add some text and customize it. Preview to check it out. I love how my signature remains static while my video loops in the background. Back in the editor, let's add some design touches. I'll select the strip and go to Change Strip Background. From Image Settings, under Scroll Effects, I'll go with Parallax. I'll also set Color Behind Image to the same yellow as my site. Preview again. Now when I scroll, I can see the parallax effect in action. I think this section could use just a little more movement. Back in the editor, and I'll add animation to the signature. Test them out and choose the one you want. I'll go with Reveal and set the duration to 1.7 seconds. In preview mode, you can see how it all comes together. The animation effect feels like someone is actually adding their signature to the site. And in every section, my galleries stand out. Back in the editor, I'll add another classic strip. Like the others, click Stretch and set the margins to 80 pixels. For this strip, I'll add an image, resize it, and attach to strip. Next, I'll resize my strip. I'll add some text and another box. As a final touch, I want to add my signature PNG again and layer it over the image. To group these images, click Command and select each element. Boom, they're grouped. Click Save and Preview to see how everything looks. Now I'll add one final grid gallery to the site. Like my other galleries, I'll delete all the default images, upload my own, and reorder them. I want to create a different look for this gallery, so I'll go to Settings, Layout, and go with Collage. I'll adjust the thumbnail size to 30, spacing to 0, and keep the collage density at 80%. Under Design, Backgrounds, and Icons, I'll change my color overlay to yellow and bring up the opacity to 80%. For Icon Color, I'll change it to black. Next, I'll customize Expand Mode. I only want to show the title and description next to each image. I'll change the background color of this view to yellow to match my background and customize my title and description styles. Then go back to Manage Media and add personal titles and descriptions for each image. In preview mode, let's see how the images look on Expand. Nice! Back in the editor, I'll finish up this section. I'll add some text and customize it. I'll also add a box and adjust the width to 10 pixels and the height to 100 pixels. To design the last section of this site, I'll add another strip to create my About section. I'll resize the height to 554 pixels so the gallery layer is above. I'll add my About text and customize it, and add a couple more box elements to tie in with the rest of my design. Finally, I'll customize my footer. I'll add text and the signature image. Then, group these elements together. I'll add another strip and resize its height to 20 pixels so it looks like a line. I'll select the white strip above, click Stretch, and set the margins to 80 pixels. And that's it! Here's my final gallery-based website with strips, animation, and scroll effects. Thanks for watching! I hope you had fun, and we'll see you in the next one.